This is ridiculous. Hello everybody, Silver Picker here, and today's episode is a classic grab bag exchange. Now, for those of you who are new to my channel or new to this series, basically, if you support my channel and my mission of teaching people all over the world about the joys of coin collecting, and the benefits of investing in precious metals, well, you get access to my private Discord server where we talk about coin collecting, precious metals investing, personal finance, crypto, all sorts of other cool stuff, and just generally have a good time. One of the cool things that we do is we do a massive secret Santa style, multi-person, multi-state, multi-country coin grab bag swap. And this package came to me from one of my patrons and we're gonna open it up and see what I got. This one is a massive one, it is really heavy, and I am sure it is going to be chock full of awesome coins, oddities, rarities, and precious metals. Now, I also created a grab bag that I sent out to one of my patrons as well, and I am going to show you that later on in the video, and you definitely don't wanna miss that. But, as I always say, enough with the jibber jabber, let's crack into this and see what I got. All right, so James is the patron that sent me this grab bag this time, and I'm just gonna check how to open this up. Oh yeah, this knife cuts like butter, like butter. All right, we're just gonna crack right into it. Okay, so we have got this bad boy open and I am so excited for this. Okay, first of all, well packaged, nice job, nice job. Okay, and we're right at the read first part, so we know we got ourselves an envelope. So let's do that first. Oh my God, look at all this stuff, holy moly. Okay, number one, read first. Dear Max, let me first off thank you. When I was in the hospital with the COVID back in November, all I had was my phone available. After scrolling through thousands of YouTube videos, I came across your channel. After finding and watching numerous videos, I felt it was time to join your Patreon. And ever since meeting all the great people and doing grab bag swaps, it has definitely helped me. My last two days in the hospital, I decided to try and get a grab bag from Treasure Town after you responded to my email quickly. Ever since, I was hooked. I appreciate all the support from you and the other silver pickers. So in this grab bag are some goodies I hope you like. Also in the box that says for giveaway, feel free to use those for your channel, a Patreon giveaway, or another charity giveaway. I, uh, I did a, uh, a charity, uh, a giveaway to raise money for charity in my Patreon group, and uh, it was great. We raised over $500 uh, for uh, environmental preservation. Thank you for always responding and getting me hooked on the best investment hobby. Sincerely, James King. P.S. For all the viewers that are not on the Patreon, I highly recommend it. Many folks who specialize in different types, ancients, U.S. foreign currency, grading, etc. are there and ready to chat and help you. So take it from a beginner that started in November. It's well worth it. Holy cow, James, thank you for that incredible plug to my Patreon. Yes, any of you that want to join, of course, you can take a look at the links below. James, I am so glad that I got you hooked on this hobby, and it is a good one. Also, nice job shouting out Treasure Town. He's the man. If you don't know his channel, you all should check it out. All right, so, ooh, he's got it all in order. Okay, so let's see what's next. Here we go. In the mill, it says something odd, by the way. And the reason why something odd is because we always like to try and include some kind of oddity or something unusual in every grab bag, not just the regular coins and uh, precious metal stuff. In the military, our call sign was the Jolly Green Giant because back in Vietnam, our helicopters would have giant circles in the rice paddy fields, and it made it look like giant feet. Okay. Interesting, so I assume this will have something to do with his military unit. A lot of my patrons are uh, veterans, so shout out to them and all the other veterans that may be watching. Okay, let's see what we got over here. Oh, wow, that is so... Oh my gosh, look at this. He sent me a pack from his unit. Um, I... These are the kind of things that mean so much to me, and when you guys send me stuff like this that's something personal, that means something to you, it, it really blows me away, and I am, 
it's more than just blows me away. It makes me proud. It really, really makes me proud, especially when it has something to do with the military like this. You served our country, and the idea that you are honoring me by giving me a patch from your unit is incredible. So thank you so much. That is awesome. Okay. First of all, this is pretty wild that you uh, printed all this stuff. The kind of bills we don't mind getting in the mail. Huh, yes, definitely. Whatever this is, I am sure it is the kind of bill I don't mind getting in the mail. Okay. Let's see what we got over here. Interesting. What on earth is this? <laughs> okay, first of all, let's see. Okay, we got a bunch of stuff. Let's do it one at a time. Okay. Oh, this is so cool. Okay, I know exactly what this is. I actually have a few of these in my collection, but this one's cool because it is from Virginia. So basically, this $2 bill was originally issued in 1976 and it celebrated the bicentennial, right? You see Declaration of Independence 1776. So 200 years after that was 1976. And what people did is they rushed to take this to their post office on Independence Day, this one was actually April 22nd, 1976, but same deal. And basically the idea was you would get a stamp put on the bill and then you'd have it canceled to show that this was indeed in 1976. So this is actually like a crossover between uh, numismatics and philately, which is uh, stamp collecting. This is really, really cool. I have ones from New Jersey, but never have I gotten one from Virginia. This is really, really cool. <laughs> this is hilarious. This is, of course, not a real $100 bill, but uh, this is a fake gold dollar bill, and I actually always hate these things. I certainly don't hate that somebody uh, gave me one for free, but a lot of new collectors get fooled by these and think that they're actually gold and think that they're worth something, and they're really not. They're just a novelty. But anyway, I'll probably give this to uh, one of my little cousins, but they'll have a really good time playing around with this, and that will not go to waste. All right, we've got another couple bills. Ooh, look at this. We've got ourselves a Virginia Treasury note. That's pretty cool. This is really cool. These are on like rice paper. Let's see what it says. This original $1 bill from the state of Virginia during the Civil War, the man pictured as John Lecter, governor of Virginia during the first years of the war. He appointed Lee and Jackson to, to the Virginia Land Force, which was later incorporated into the Confederate service. That's Really, really interesting. So this is a pre-Confederacy. Yeah, you can see it says July 21st, 1862. So I guess not quite pre-Confederacy, but uh, really, really interesting. This is a real piece of history. These are not worth too, too much. By the way, all of you can see that the values of all these different items, we are going to follow along in the corner and see if we can hit the $100 mark. That's right, this grab bag is supposed to be a $100 grab bag and uh, we'll see if, uh, if he makes it. Let's see if he uh, actually includes $100 worth of stuff. Spoiler alert, I'm pretty sure that it's gonna be over 100. All right, and last but not least, what is this? Odd denomination, 30 cent Civil War issue. Wow, okay, so these are some of those only these one-sided notes. A lot of the notes back in the day, they just didn't have the technology and also it was expensive to print on two sides. So they would print just on one side. Wow, look at that. Very cool, I'm, I'm kind of nervous to take it out of the plastic even though the glare is kind of, uh, you know, making it difficult to see. All right, maybe I'll do it and just be really, really careful. Oh my God, it feels like it's gonna crumble in my hands. That is in rough shape. This thing has seen better days, but you can see that, by the way, the serial number is handwritten in. Very, very, very cool. And what does that say? 1862 as well. All right, we're gonna pop that back in its protective sleeve because if I don't, I might sneeze and it will just disappear. But anyway, that is super, super cool. Wow, those bills are phenomenal. All right, we are up to number four. Okay, I think it's time to uh, move this box out of the way and we will open up things individually. I'm gonna spread some of this stuff out so you all can see it and enjoy it as we go through the rest because this stuff is just too cool. We cannot just leave it to the side and forget about it. I mean, come on, right? Okay, look at that. All right, number four. Get rid of that rubber band. All right, bring back the old trusty pocket knife. 
Also, for those of you watching at home right now that are thinking to yourselves, man, I want to get on the action. How do I do a grab bag exchange with Silver Picker and the rest of the Silver Picker squad? Well, it's really easy. All you got to do is click on the link below, support my Patreon campaign, and rest easy knowing that you are supporting my mission of teaching people all over the world about coin collecting, precious metals investing, and even personal finance, which includes alternative investments, crypto, and all sorts of other fun stuff. And you get to be part of the Discord community and get in on these grab bag exchanges. I would love to see you there and can't wait to get to know you in the Discord. Now, let's get back to this awesome grab bag. All right, here we go. Interesting. Okay. Lewis and Clark and want to see a magic trick. Let's uh, save the magic trick for a second. Oh man, I am enjoying this. James, first of all, you are a master uh, builder of these grab bags because this is just so much fun. I'm guaranteeing you that everybody watching is also enjoying sort of like the suspense and the way that you've built up this grab bag. Super, super cool. Okay, Lewis and Clark. Let's see what this is all about. Coin and pouch set. Wow. That is cool. Look at that. Okay. First, let's look at the coin. You know what? No, first we're going to read. This is like uh, what my dad taught me, right? When you get a gift, you read the letter first. We're going to do the same here. Okay, I think this is about Lewis and Clark. Anybody who wants to pause on that, you can. Uh, but let's just see in general what it is. It's American Indian Pouch Special Edition. About the pouch. The pouch is made of deer, elk, or moose hide and has been hand decorated by a tribal artist using one or more of the following traditional methods. Blah, blah, blah. You can read that. That is super, super cool. I am so excited to see this. And it's also got stuff, you know, Certificate of Authenticity from the U.S. Mint. Very cool. All right, let's first take a look at the pouch. That is awesome. That is really, really awesome. I don't know how to open it yet, and I don't want to... Br oh, okay. I don't know how to open it. What am I, an idiot? Yeah, okay, I see. You open it uh, exactly the way that it looks like it should be opened. Anyway, very cool. And I guess you can store the coin in here if you want. That is cool. Okay, we're going to put that back together later, but I've already delayed you guys enough from seeing the coin. Look at that. Lewis and Clark Bicentennial. Liberty. You can see Lewis and Clark right there. It's a really, really sharp coin. I love that mirror finish. And we can see it's United States of America, $1. Really, really cool design. In fact, I actually am going to say that I like the reverse more than I like the obverse. Look at that. I love the star design. I love those feathers. I love the uh, handshake. I really, I just love everything. It's spectacular. And as you can see, it is indeed a silver dollar. So we've got our first piece of silver here. Not too shabby. Man, this is a really, really cool set. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it. Not sure if I'm going to display it. Not sure if, who knows, maybe I'll even trade it to one of you guys in the future. But this thing is really special. Very, very cool. Okay, next up, let's see a magic trick. All right, let's see, what does this mean? Is this uh, gonna make all of my, uh, my coins disappear? Is the magic trick going to be? All right, let's see. Let's see, this thing is, <gasps> no way, no freaking way, holy cow, ha, dude. Dude, oh my god. For those of you who don't know why I'm freaking out, these are packs of Magic the Gathering cards. It is a collectible trading card game that started back in 1993. I made a video about it. These are very, very investable right now. Super hot. If you missed the video, you can check it out in the card over here. But these are awesome. Some of these are uh, a couple years old already. Um, and these ones are probably not going to be super valuable in terms of the cards inside. But I play the game in addition to being an investor. So I am definitely going to use these to play with. And if uh, there's anything valuable inside, I will let you all know in a future video. In fact, you know what? I'm going to open up these packs on TikTok and uh, see what I got. So if you don't follow me on TikTok, the links are below. Definitely check it out at Silver Picker because I am blowing up over there and it is a lot of fun. Oh my God, James, you are, you are the MVP of grab bag givers right now because you have given me my absolute favorite things, coins, magic cards, and some real meaning. Some real meaning, all the feels. You gave me the feels, you gave me silver, and you gave me magic cards. What could be better? Wow. All right, let's go back into our box and see what's next. 
All right, well, we've got something that says for giveaway. We'll check that out last because that will be able to see what you guys who are watching right now might be able to get. But uh, let's just keep digging into it. All right, let's take a look at this next. Wow, wow. Okay, number five, Canada's birds. Okay, first of all, I love Canadian coins. Absolutely love Canadian coins, okay. And uh, we've got free advertising for Huff United, our mission to provide outstanding customer satisfaction every day. Huff United paper. So if you want to be uh, a paper buyer, I guess you can buy from there. You know, you never know where your uh, post-it notes will end up. Okay, let's take a look. Discovering Canada. Okay, birds. Birds of prey. And let's see what we got. Yo, look at that. Look at that. These are incredible. Are these silver? Sterling silver, 50 cent four coin set. That is awesome. Sterling silver, that's even better than what we've got in the States. Okay, let's take a look at these individually because these are gorgeous. Look at that. Okay, these are from the year 2000. They're 50 cent coins. This is the Buteo Jamaicanesis. Oh God, I'm going to get roasted alive in the comments for uh, butchering the pronunciation of these coins. I mean, of these birds, but holy cow. My fingers are sweating up the plastic, so I'm going to hold these on the edge even though they are encapsulated. All right, next one. Let's see what we've got over here. Look at that. What is this one? Pandion Halictus? By the way, if anybody knows what like the normal people names for these coins are, for these birds are, put them in the comments below. By the way, I, I don't know if any of you know this, but I'm actually a huge outdoorsman, big time camper, backpacker, rock climber, and uh, anything with nature like this, I absolutely love. Oh my God, this owl is incredible. This owl is incredible. Holy cow. I think, uh, I don't know if I'll keep the whole set. Maybe I guess you should keep the set together. I don't know if I'm gonna keep this in my personal collection or not, but uh, it I usually don't keep um, commemorative coins like this, but these are so nice. Oh my God, I love the frostiness. Look at that. Look at the frostiness of these designs. Mirror finish in the background, frosty features in the foreground. Holy cow. You know, sometimes I wonder with these uh, commemorative coins, do you think the Queen of England actually approves every coin that her face is going to be on? If anybody knows the answer to that, I'd be, I would definitely be curious. And uh, I bet everyone else would be too, because I wonder if she's seen these and thought, man, these are beautiful. Do you think the Queen of England uh, has kept a set of these for herself? Who knows? Wow, James, aside from the generosity in the value of this stuff, holy cow, you really put together some stuff that I absolutely love. And that's pretty hard to do for, uh, for modern coins because everybody who watches knows that I'm much more into the historic coins, but holy cow, holy freaking cow. Between this and the uh, Lewis and Clark, I mean, these are some seriously nice modern coins. Holy moly. All right, let's go back into the box. All right, let's see what we've got left. We've got some packing material, packing material. Looks like we've got a couple last little things. We've got number six. Number six, let's see what we've got over here. Silver is silver. All right, he has been watching closely. Any of you who have been watching me for a long time, oh no, I ripped the silver is silver. That's okay because silver is silver and paper is paper. Anybody who's been watching me for a long time knows that I am a big advocate of the idea that silver is silver, right? It's not just about which specific coins, like don't complain about getting a 40% Kennedy half. Silver is still silver. Oh, and he also gave me a couple of these mini vials of, uh, of gold leaf. By the way, he sent me an email telling me that, uh, just so you know, he's like, I know, I just wanna let you know, I'm aware that these are worthless. I put them in because I think that they're fun. And by the way, I agree, totally. The only reason why when you get these little vials of, of gold flake in a grab bag from eBay, the only reason why I get upset about that is because they try and put a value on it. You've already go, gone way above and beyond value-wise of what was expected, so these are just an added bonus and I think they're cool especially these ones in the little glass bottle with the cork top makes me feel a little bit like a pirate or something but uh these are actually really cool and I love giving these to uh to kids to get them excited about precious metals because you know there's these are not really worth anything but to a kid this is treasure and uh you know for anybody who's got kids in their life I have some nieces and nephews they are going to love these so James you do not need to uh to uh be self-conscious about having included these because you've already given me so much freaking stuff. Oh my God, are you nuts? Look at this, look at this. He just put in a, a whole freaking, oh my God. 
Oh yeah, this is a, uh, huh. I'm, okay, I'm speechless. Look at this. 1950, 1945, 1953, 52, 62, 1950, 1958, 1942, 1964. Man, this is probably going to be the, uh, the thumbnail over here. 1960, look at that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 silver quarters. This is 50 bucks right here. James, what is wrong with you? You are way too generous. I say that about a lot of my patrons, but holy cow, you are you are really giving uh, folks like uh, Jason and Patrick and uh, all the rest uh, a run for their money. Holy moly. Okay, we've got 1967, a 1965, a 1966, and a 1964. Wow. So the 1964 and all the quarters are 90% silver, and these three are 40% silver. And like I always say, you are right. Silver is silv. No, silver is silver. Holy cow, look at that. I, okay, we're just gonna make this like a pirate treasure pile. I love that. I just, do you hear that? Don't you love the sound of silver clinking against each other? Ha, huh, so good, so good. Okay, now I already know that you're a maniac because you are too generous. That is too dangerous. That, that is just a pile of silver, a freaking pile of silver. Okay. I apologize, oh, that's really funny. That is really funny. Okay, this is number seven. I apologize for the American coin shortage. I started a swear jar. That is freaking hilarious. That should be a t-shirt. If you want to come out with some merch, that would be amazing. All right, let's open this up. Okay, let's see what we've got in here. Here we go. Oh my God, I can already tell this is going to be crazy. What is this? 1882 Japanese two cent. That is super cool. Look at the design on that. Dragon, that is so cool. Two sen, I've never had one of these coins. I have the sen bills uh, from World War II era, but I've never actually had uh, a, one of these copper coins. I think I've had some, some um, they might be aluminum. I'm not sure what metal they are. I, I can't remember right now, but I've definitely had some of the smaller denominations, but I've never had one of these. These are beautiful. Look at that. Look at the dragon design. Oh my gosh, that is definitely a keeper. That is a keeper right there. Okay, next up from our little box over here, we've got ourselves a 1966 one uh, drachma from Greece. I don't think these are silver, but this is really cool. If it is, I'll put it on the screen, but very cool. Nice, you know I love my foreign coins. I'm a big foreign coin guy because I love learning about history and geography and all that good stuff. Next up, we've got ourselves a 1955 Lebanon 1 Kirsch. If I'm mispronouncing that, I'm sure one of my Lebanese viewers will let me know. It says one piastra, Republic Libanese, 1955. Yes, so French and Arabic are two of the national languages there. Very cool. Next up, Italy, 1940. Uh, 50 centissimi, very cool, nice. 1949 Hong Kong cent, very cool, sweet. And what else do we have here? A Chinese 10 cash coin from 1906. Wow, that is very cool. I've always wanted to get more into the Chinese cash coins because they are so, so cool. What does that say? It says Tai Ching T Q, copper coin. Interesting, it says copper coin on it. It's interesting because I guess this was meant to be used for foreign trade or foreigners. I have to do some more research on that. Anybody who knows anything about this, I would love for you to put that in the comments because it says copper coin on there. You see that? Copper coin, very, very unusual. I'm not, I'm not really uh, very knowledgeable about these, so uh, any kind of info you have would be helpful. All right, it looks like we've got a bunch more uh, sort of common foreign coins. Let's. Take a look, do a little bird's eye view. And we've got ourselves a one cent as well from the US. Another uh, Greek coin, very cool, Mexican coin. Uh, see if you guys can identify any of these other coins on your own. Take a second, and there we go. These guys can sit on top of uh, Lewis and Clark. What is that, three cent? What the heck? 
huh, we went from, uh, you know, basically, <laughs> no offense, but we went from like worthless, uh, what is that, a two euro, five euro cents coin, right? Nothing special. All of a sudden, boom, I'm hit with an 1874 three cent nickel. Oh my gosh, look at that. That's a type coin. If any of you guys are into typesets, this is, this is what it is. So back in the day, for those of you who are new to this, the United States actually had three cent coins. It's a little tough to see in this because uh, of the glare, but I'll put up a picture right over here so you can see what it is. That's what a three cent coin looks like from the United States. Yeah, this one's from 1874. Absolutely wild. All right, next up, we've got ourselves a proof 1979 S dime. Very cool. Very, very cool. I'm not a big proof collector, but still uh, a cool coin nonetheless. Got ourselves a V-nickel from 1907. Called a V-nickel, for those of you who don't know, because there's a big v VDB wheat penny, holy moly. VDB, this is gonna be very hard to see on camera, but let's see if we can try. Tough to see with the glare and everything, but basically the initials of the designer of the penny were put very, very little on the back of the coin and were removed very shortly after, midway through the year 1909, the first year of issue of this coin. So the ones that have VDB still are considered very rare uh, and valuable. The VDB S, of course, is worth thousands. Okay, this is, like, this is like the gift that keeps on giving. I mean, look how much stuff there's still left in here. What is that? Ooh, we've got a little Israeli coin, a half shekel, or a half lira. This is uh, from the lira era. Uh, I think this is from the 1960s or 70s. We've got ourselves a vintage 1930s to 1960s Missouri state tax token. Very cool, I've had these in the past. I don't think I've ever had this one before though. Okay, you guys already see what's going on over here. This is ridiculous. Okay, look at this. <laughs> a Walking Liberty half from 1942. That's 90% silver right there. We're gonna put that with the silver guys over there. Okay, I see a little, little. okay, a couple more of these. Uh, ooh, this one might be silver. This one might be silver. What does that say? Bolivar? It's from Venezuela. Yeah, this is silver. Man, this is a little tough to see on camera because it's so teeny tiny. But yeah, this is definitely silver. It says lay 835, so that means 83.5% eight, silver, and it says 1.250 GR for grams. So, yeah, wow, this is a nice, another silver coin. What a bonus. This one's from Venezuela. Holy cow. Dude, you are really too generous. Got ourselves an Eisenhower, clad Eisenhower. Look at that. Or Sorry, it's a clad Eisenhower, but it's a proof, 1976S. Really nice. Wow, this one might actually be nice enough. It's proof. I mean, it's clad, so I'm not going to put it in my typeset. I like to have the 40% silver one in there. But this one actually has better eye appeal than the one that I have. Hmm. Choices, choices, choices. All right. And it looks like we've got one more coin. Oh, we've got three more coins. Okay. Let's see. Huh. 1887 Morgan. Look at that. A freaking Morgan dollar after all this. I mean, look at this, look at the value ticker here. Look at the value ticker here. This is gonna embarrass me because uh, my, my grab bag is not even close to as nice as this. I'm sorry, but uh, I, try, I went over the $100 value, but uh, not like this. Holy moly. Uh, you're joking. You are joking. Look at that. A one, okay, I don't know what this is, but we're gonna save that for, I, I can already feel and I see the writing on it, so I know it's special, I'm putting it underneath. This is a generic one ounce silver coin. Got ourselves a silver buffalo over here. So that's, that's already a $25 uh, plus uh, coin over here. That, this alone is one quarter of the value that this grab bag was supposed to be. Yet, of course, uh, we can see what's going on over here. Man, oh man, every single one of you outdoes each other. Uh, obviously, by the way, I am aware that I get a little bit of a special treatment because I'm the silver picker and I, you know, people want to, in addition to be uh, doing the regular Secret Santa style grab bag swap, they're also kind of thanking me and giving me a gift for putting out the videos that I do every week. So I get that, but still, this is, I'm floored. I am absolutely floored. And still, after all this, I still really, uh, it's, this, it's this patch from your... Uh, from your army, um, 
from your army unit that I'm still like really uh, just beyond excited about. All right, and last but not least, here we go. Before I reveal what this is, I would very much appreciate it if each and every one of you would hit the like button in this video and leave a comment below saying thank you, James, because James is what allowed you all to see this incredible collection that I'm able to share with you. So do that, and by the way, if you like watching these kind of videos, you like seeing coin collections and precious metals and all that kind of stuff, hit the subscribe button. I do this every single week. You guys get to see videos about coins, precious metals, and I teach you about personal finance and investing, even crypto, all sorts of cool stuff. You don't wanna miss it. So hit that big old red subscribe button and that little bell next to it. And here we go. Wow. Silver 1 16th piece of eight. Oh wow, he drew out what it is. Lion Castle, the coin cross recognizable around the world from the 1600s to mid 1700s. Monogram of Philippus, Latin for Philip, King of Spain. So what this is, for those of you who don't know, this is actual pirate treasure. When people talk, when you see like pirate movies, Pirates of the Caribbean or whatnot, or play Assassin's Creed or whatever pirate games are out there, this is what they're talking about when they're talking about silver. Holy cow. Look at that. This is definitely staying in my personal collection. This is really, really cool. A bunch of this stuff is probably going to stay in my personal collection, but this one for sure. Holy cow. Okay. I cannot even begin to thank you enough. And uh, I think you guys are going to also have to thank him too, because we've got ourselves the giveaway. I'm going to open this up now. We're definitely running out of time on this video. So what I'm going to do for the grab bag that I put together, I'm putting it on TikTok. I've been putting a lot of bonus material on TikTok, so you definitely got to follow me there. If you haven't downloaded it yet, beware, because it is definitely addictive, but download it, check it out, and have me as your first uh, follow at Silver Picker. You don't want to miss it. I'm going to show the grab bag that I put together uh, for one of my other patrons uh, as part of this grab bag exchange, but before we uh, sign off for the day, let's take a look at what the giveaway is, and I will decide how I am going to uh, actually give it away. Here we go. What are we giving away? Wow, that is so awesome. A Wi-Fi digital coin microscope. Oh man, that is super, super cool. So one of you guys is going to get this, one of you guys is going to get this uh, incredible tool for coin collectors and precious metals investors. This is super, super cool. And uh, basically this will allow you to get real up close and personal to see all the details of coins, look for varieties and errors and whatnot. And I've got to say, James, you've been an incredible part of our Patreon and Discord community. And uh, I think it's only fair that this goes to somebody else in the community. So I am going to be giving this away to somebody in our patron group. So uh, that's what we're going to do. I'm not sure how we'll do it. Maybe we'll do another charity auction. Uh, if you want to DM me and let me know what charity or what type of charity you'd be interested in, I think, I think we'll do that. I think maybe that's what we should do when, uh, when uh, one of the uh, Silver Picker Patreon uh, patrons gives something away to give back to the community. I think we should do it as a charity thing. As if you needed an extra excuse to join my Patreon, well, here it is, because now you'll have a chance to win this incredible coin microscope. You'll be part of our amazing Patreon and Discord community, and you'll get a chance to do incredible grab bag exchanges like this one. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this because this was absolutely one of the best grab bag openings I have had. It has all of my favorite things, as I mentioned. I mean, man. I definitely think that this is my favorite coin right over here, this uh, silver pieces of eight. That is so freaking spectacular, and I love this patch. This patch is so, so cool. I've got to figure out what I'm going to do with it, but that is so awesome. I would love for you guys to leave in the comments your favorite item from this grab bag, and uh, let me know. Let's see which one uh, is most people's favorite. Anyway, if you enjoyed this, I would definitely appreciate a like. Hit the subscribe button. We got a lot more awesome stuff coming down the pike. So stay tuned. And until then, Silver Picker out. A huge, huge thank you to all of my wonderful patrons. You guys are amazing. I literally could not have done this video without you. And I am so proud to have you guys as part of the Silver Picker squad. If you're interested in becoming a patron, the links are below. And we would love to have you. I'll see you in the Discord.